Uh, thank you, everyone. My name is uh, Christian Hernandez. I am a uh, Senior Principal Technical Marketing Manager at Red Hat. That is a very long title. Um, <laughs> and it's always weird to say it out loud. But um, And um, I'm here to talk about a pipeline as code. So it's, um, I want to start off by, um, by quoting my favorite person, Chris Short. Um, everyone, if you're in the CNCF community, knows Chris Short. But Chris Short um, once said on the, uh, the Newstack podcast that GitOps is the holy grail of DevOps. And, um, and I, I, always loved, I always loved this quote. This is like one of my favorite quotes because not only do I think it's like a spot on observation, I think it's indicative of how DevOps has evolved to the forefront of how to manage your system and, um, and how the software delivery process happens on that system. And, and really, GitOps isn't really anything new, right? GitOps has practice um, looks very similar to DevOps practices, right? So this is why a lot of there's a lot of confusion and why the uh, Open GitOps uh, project exists is um, there's a lot of similarities. It's like, hey, I, I'm kind of doing some of this stuff or all of it, not sure. Um, and that's because uh, GitOps is DevOps, right? With some little tweaks for um, you know, of course, cloud native architecture, and. I really think GitOps is proof that DevOps works and it, it has arrived, right? We've been talking about DevOps for a long time, right? We've, that, that, that keyword, that uh, buzzword has been through the ringer. Now we have this new, new buzzword called GitOps. And um, then, and it's, it's really, it, it really is proof, GitOps is proof that DevOps works, right? And, um, and uh, speaking with Dan Garfield, actually, so Dan, that was just up here, um, we were you know, chatting and we basically said that um, really, GitOps is, are, are things that we've been wanting to do this whole time, but now with like an infrastructure like Kubernetes, right, with a platform like Kubernetes, we're able to do some of these things that we've been just kind of just wanting to do uh, forever. So to, I want to end this little rant uh, by saying is that really GitOps is what DevOps looks like in practice. So um, uh, the name of the game really is automation, right? And GitOps is all about automation. And um, since you're using Git as a source of truth, your Git workflows become the center of everything that you're doing. Um, and since Git workflows are industry standards, right, it's, and it's easily learned, right, it's become like the de facto standard. And really, even, even for people like me, who comes from an operations background, like I know how to do Git, right? Like we all, we all familiar with Git, even us operators uh, know how to do Git. More people get involved, right? And, um, and more people can have eyes on it, right? And um, Git really becomes, those Git workflows becomes your change request process, right? So if you think about it in, in from, from a high level, is that you know, your change control process really now is in the kind of an automated fashion with your Git workflows, since it, you, know, you can set up things to require, uh, require approvals and um, for people to sign off on protected branches, doing all that, that cool stuff. Um, and yes, even your security team, can be um, could be part of this of this whole process. So, which kind of brings me kind of to my next point, where GitOps is really the building blocks to a lot of the things um, that a lot of other automation paradigms. Right? We hear another uh, buzzword called the DevSecOps, right? Um, where it's the process of bringing your security team into the DevOps lifecycle. There's AIML ops. Um, there is a, a application supply chain, right? All of that. GitOps is a cornerstone of all of that, right? So it, um, it becomes the center of, of a bigger automation paradigm. So, um, so this kind of brings me to um, my next thought, like where does GitOps fit in to the CD process, to the CI CD process? And you know, um, us as DevOps practitioners, right? The, the CI CD process is like where we live, right? Is, is, is our, our cornerstone. And so um, you can't do GitOps without CI CD. And so you kind of think, you know, where does that land? Um, it really lands currently in that CD um, aspect of it, right, at that last mile, uh, keeping your environment in sync with whatever track branch that you want to do. Um, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it's there to prevent uh, drift detection and all those nice things that you, need, that, that you get with GitOps. Um, but it really sits downstream from it, right? So this provides a loose coupling between CI and CD. There's there's separation of powers that are related, but and independent with each other, but not, you know, they're not disjointed from each other either. So these so tools like Jenkins, Tecton, CloudBees, 
they could all still exist in this new automation paradigm, right? So, so we talked a little bit how GitOps isn't really anything new and how DevOps practitioners, you know, have been doing a lot of these practices uh, for years. And now with the GitOps working group, um, we put together these principles uh, to help guide DevOps practitioners into, um, uh, into who want to further go into GitOps. So um, I really want to start, up, start talking about what comes next, right? So GitOps, latest buzzword, uh, it's, it's all new, it's all, it's all um, exciting. I actually want to think about a little bit forward about like, all right, what comes after GitOps, right? Or like what, what comes next after this? And, um, and I mentioned in the previous slide, GitOps typically sits downstream from the CI CD process. Um, I think we need to start building our CI systems to be more GitOps aware. So really taking that idea of GitOps and then expanding it to your entire process. Um, you know, you started seeing kind of these things like GitHub Actions and, and, and GitLab CI. And we, we, we need to move further down from GitOps just providing drift detection and, and deployment to a universal way of thinking. And uh, this means making everything GitOps aware, especially your CI process. So um, everything has code. When, when, when I say everything, I literally mean everything. And uh, this also means how your pipelines run they should also be declarative. And not just how to deploy, but also how to build should be declarative as well. Um, so you have the entire CI CD version in Git and operate a, operated via Git workflows. Um, Git repos can be separate, separated out here, right? As you see here, um, if, if this looks too crazy for you, it's, it's fine, you can do monorepo. This just kind of illustrates the point of having, um, of having everything in a Git repo. So not just uh, declarative how your infrastructure looks like, right, your declarative, but also how you want to build your infrastructure as well in the CI process needs to also be um, uh, part of that GitOps uh, paradigm. So the Tech Talk community, Tech Ton community, sorry, um, has started working on something called Pipeline as Code. And um, Pipeline as Code is basically running pipelines um, declaratively. So it, it it's essentially is taking the idea of having um, Kind of GitHub Actions, I always kind of pick on use GitHub Actions because like everyone uses it. Um, but kind of bringing that idea of GitHub Actions to everyone, right? Like not just on GitHub. You can also do it on Bitbucket. You can also do it just on plain Git, right? Uh, creating your Git um, repository, um, you know, through, through a command line. I, uh, I'm pretty sure we all started that way. Um, you can do it uh, then as well. Um, and so the idea is, bringing those uh, type of actions, those type of declarations uh, to, the, to the broader community. So um, I invite all of you to get involved, right? Um, you can join the, the Tecton Slack. Uh, there's, a, there's a working group um, called uh, Workflows. And um, you, know, you can also check out the, uh, the Tecton Git repository. Um, if you're more hands-on, right? So there's, um, there's uh, some links there that you can get to. There's a copy of the slides on Sketch, so you can always download them and, and, and click on those links there. And uh, selfish plug, right? So I run a bi-weekly uh, streaming, um, uh, GitOps Guide to the Galaxy. Um, Dan has been on it, Scott's been on it, um, Cornelia has been on it, she's out there. So I, I invite everyone, so if you're, if you're uh, interested in coming on, I, I love uh, when people come on, we talk GitOps, it's really, really casual. Um, it's, it's really, you can even demo something, we can break something together, it's cool. So um, for that, I wanna say thank you very much and uh, enjoy the rest of GitOpsCon.